All right, this is going to be a video about Python mathematical expressions. Okay, but first, before we start that, I want to go over what an algorithm is. And basically, an algorithm is just a set of instructions. Okay, we are going to be focusing primarily on computer algorithms, but you can really have an algorithm for anything, not just computing, as you can have a set of instructions for tying your shoe or making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But algorithm is just a fancy word for a set of instructions. Now, the, there are certain steps to uh, algorithms they tend to follow. The first one would be sequencing. There's no order for this, but sequencing is basically just how the code is arranged, and it always goes from top down, but it also can skip around if there's procedures or loops and stuff like that. But sequencing is just basically how it's arranged. The next thing is selection, and this is basically when, the, when you have a program that's actually selecting a certain value or not selecting a certain value. So it's almost like it's making a decision. Uh, think like conditional if statements uh, in regards to selection. We're going to go over a selection in the next section in class. And the third thing is iteration. This is just basically the number one power of a computer is it's able to do things so much faster than we are and it's able to repeat certain things way faster. So that's what iteration is. We're going to be going over that in, uh, in the next two sections. We'll, we'll start that. Okay. But this is all about mathematical uh this is all about mathematical expressions, and before we start that, I guess I should reintroduce the uh, arithmetic operators that we'll be using in Python. And this is just the basic, you know, add, subtract, uh, multiply, divide. And there's a new one that we're going to talk about. Well, actually, I should talk about exponents, too. That's the star, star. And there's a new one we're going to talk about where it's called modulo. And it's basically, here, I'll just write mod here for, for now. Uh, but I'm going to explain that in a little bit. Um, that's probably the only one that you really just haven't heard of yet. All right, let's say A is 3 and B is 2. If I wanted to print A plus B, it would just print those out. Okay, and you get 5 as the output. Okay, and you can do the same thing with subtraction, division, multiplication. You can make it as an exponential here, so it's 3 squared, which is 9. But mod is a little bit different. Mod is actually a percent symbol. And essentially what this percent symbol does is it's taking 3 and dividing it by 2. And imagine doing that with long division. If you did 3 divided by 2, you would have a remainder of 1. So what mod basically does is it's going to divide 3 and 2, and then whatever the remainder is, it's going to output. So this would output 1 if I run it. Okay, and say I change this to, I don't know, let's change it to 4. 4 divided by 2, there is no remainder, so it actually outputs at a 0. Let's do 17 divided by 5. Okay, 17 divided by 5 would be 3 and 2 fifths, so it's going to output that 2 from the 2 fifths, because the remainder is 2. Okay, definitely want to experiment more with modulo, just so you kind of understand how it works, but it's basically just long division, and it's finding that remainder. So that's the arithmetic operators. The next, I want to talk about the assignment operators. Okay, and there's a number of these, but basically the assignment operator that you already went over, let's just use C as an example, it's just like C equals, let's just say C is equal to 4. Okay, and then you can print, oops, let's print C, and then it's going to print the 2, and then it's going to print the 4. Okay, now there's other assignment operators as well. For example, if I did... C plus equals, uh, let's go with 2. What this is essentially going to do is it's going to take whatever the value of C is, which is 4, and then add 2 to it. So now this output should be 2 and 6. Okay, the 2, again, is from this, this top one right here. I'm actually going to comment this out so it won't run anymore. So if you run this, it's going to basically output that 6 there. Now, this is equivalent, if I wanted to, I can comment this out, and this is equivalent if I did this. C is equal to C plus 2. Okay, it's going to output a 6, just like before. Okay, so it's basically just a little shortcut. If you do a plus equals, it's equivalent to this statement right here. Okay, if you remember, the equal sign in Python does not actually represent an equal sign. It's actually called an assignment operator. So it's assigning a certain value to that C. Because C is clearly not equal to C plus 2, because that wouldn't make any sense algebraically. So it's just saying, whatever C is, add 2 to it, and then assign it to C again. Okay. Now you can do this assignment operator for any of the other operations as well. So this would be this would output a two, right? You could do a times here. This would output an eight because it's just going to be four times two. Okay, and so on. You can even do the mod with it. You can even do the exponential with it if you wanted as well. 
its output is 16. So that's basically mathematical expressions in Python. I went over arithmetic operators and assignment operators. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know.